Well, hello everybody. It's a beautiful day here, and uh, I just got the heads up from my neighbor that I guess the rats are back in full bloom. So I thought I'd take a look inside my shed, and sure enough, he's right. Let's uh, let's see what I found. So it doesn't take a lot to realize that, uh, yeah, clearly, those rodents are still happily taking up residence in my shed. Look at that. There's stuff everywhere. Last year's rat trap worked sort of well, but this year I'm going with something a little bit more traditional. Going to try a professional device, hopefully get better results. This wasn't too bad, cost, uh, I don't know, 15, 20 bucks. So let's, uh, let's see if it uh, catches anything. What do we got here? Free glue trap included. Traps over a dozen mice, use again and again. Child and pet safe, good, because my dog's not too bright. Easy to use, perfect, because I'm not too bright either. Alright, let's open her up and take a look. Hopefully my battery will hold out for this. Guessing that's the glue pad. Oh, well, they weren't kidding. Easy viewing to see whether or not you've got anything in there. And that opens up fairly easy. I don't know. Hopefully our mice won't be strong enough to push that open. Catchmaster, sticklers for quality. For use as a rodent trap. Peel off release paper. Place trap along walls. Use as a covered trap. All right. Looks like that'll pretty much just fit in the middle there. Never used one of these before, can you tell? Might just be the gloves, but it doesn't seem like it really wants to be... Oh, look at that. Sticky. Very sticky. Look at that, with advertising on it and everything. These guys think of everything. I'm just gonna fold. Oh, look at that. Super sticky stuff. That's why I'm wearing the gloves. That I may never be able to use again. Looks like it's supposed to fold over like that. Uh, I suppose I should have taken the time to read the instructions. It's not really my style though. Uh, give me back my gloves. Now I gotta find some way to push that down without losing my gloves. Yeah. Use the old fashioned mouse trap for that. Right now I probably should have cut that and all kinds of things, but I'm going to set this up on the floor here and we'll check back on it in uh, a few days, see if it's caught anything. This place on the floor seems ideal, lots of traffic, lots of rodent waste. Maybe I'll just put something there to help that blend in. Stack some of this lumber on top of it. Now apparently, and I kind of know this from dealing with my own pet rats. I should have thought about this with last year's trap. But apparently, it'll take a couple of days before they get used to that. So there really is no point in checking it for at least a couple. But, uh, you know, I'm impatient. I imagine I'll check it tomorrow, next day, etc. And uh, we'll get a clip when I finally catch something in there. Okay, so it's been a couple of days. Let's take a look inside the Catchmaster. I 
I'm uh, not seeing anything. You see anything? Open it up. Yeah, there's nothing there. And I can't say that I would be attracted to a piece of glued paper either. So, I got a plan. Here, I have some bean soup mix that I got from the bulk department. Ended up planting uh, a few different varieties of beans out of this. But, you know, what, 20 cents? 30 cents? I think I'll throw some of that into the trap down there. Bound to be more interesting for the rodents than the smell of the glue paper. Here's something of interest. You're going to want to be careful with this glue paper. I just got it tucked up against this side. Very little contact point there and it ripped one of the tunnels right out. So I'm going to have to figure out how to shove that sucker back into place before I close this up. So if you get one of these Catchmaster traps, definitely be careful for that. Alright, just thought I'd show you. On the upside, that little issue is easy enough to fix. You can just kind of give it a, a shove. It fits into a little metal lip there. Fairly snug. So that's taken care of. Now, to add my bean soup. Now, I would be way more likely to come to the smell of that than to the smell of that. Alright, we'll give this a couple more days, check on it again. Well, it's been a couple of days. Clearly there's still nothing that's going into this Catchmaster multi-use trap. I'm guessing it just smells far too new and artificial. I'm not going to give up on it though. I'll leave it and uh, if it still hasn't caught anything by the end of the summer then I'll officially declare this product bunk. But until then, I don't know, maybe I'll sprinkle some various things on it to make it smell more appealing. Some maple syrup, peanut butter, whatever. As trap designs go, I like this trap. It's really easy to open. And when I took, you know, that gummy bit out and this tunnel came out, it was really easy to fix that. The, the functionality, the design, it all looks really, really straightforward. I like the fact that you can see through the top of it lets you know right away without a lot of screwing around whether or not you've got anything in there but I don't know I think it's just too unnatural well that wraps up this video there's the Catchmaster a week and a bit of it being in motion and it hasn't caught much of anything so we'll leave it though money spent thanks for watching thanks for checking out this little review have yourselves a fantastic and rodent-free day.